Hi, Mark Rivett here with All Guitar Network News. If you've been after the classic Stevie Ray Vaughan tone, your search may be one step closer with the news that Stevie Ray Vaughan's 1964 Fender Vibraverb, the one he used on David Bowie's Let's Dance, is up for sale at Nashville vintage guitar outlet Rumble Seat Music. Rumble Seat just put a post on their Instagram feed, including photos of the amp, accompanied by a Double Trouble poster, a handwritten note, photos and other documentation. According to Music Folklore, Bowie met Vaughan at the 1982 Montreux Jazz Festival after Stevie had been basically booed off stage. But Bowie was so impressed with Stevie's playing that he asked him to accompany him to the studio where he's working on the seminal album Let's Dance. A while back, All Guitar Network did an interview with Let's Dance bass player at the time, Carmine Rojas, and Carmine told us that had originally wanted Albert King to do the solo on Let's Dance, but Albert wasn't available, so they used the young Stevie Ray Vaughan and the rest as they say is history. Stevie ended up playing on five tracks on the Let's Dance album including China Girl. Bowie and Stevie initially really hit it off and could spend hours and hours talking about music and Bowie asked Stevie to join him on his Serious Moonlight tour but things quickly soured when it became apparent to Stevie that he would be prevented from promoting his upcoming album Texas Flood. The other thing that really didn't work for Stevie was he wasn't into any choreographed moves on stage. In their own unique ways both Texas Flood and Let's Dance went on to be massive hits with Let's Dance selling over 10 million copies worldwide. For more information, click the info button now. I'm Mark Rivett, and this is All Guitar Network News.